Well, 27, one of 29. Up and it's scored by the left of your screen. Draws his man in and counter punches. He said in order to take stepping on each other's toes, and that'll happen all night long. What the fighters are doing, step on each other's toes on purpose. Now the referee, so he can see their feet. So if a guy, and you watch, see it right there again, stumbling around, and there's no knockdown. The one thing we had the opportunity to talk to him yesterday, and that's very difficult, because they uh, very similar individuals, these professional athletes that are spiked. You know, the question getting close to him, but I know this fight is sometimes when you take a liking to one fighter, try to do the best we can. Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal said if there's one thing that I think Baden has an advantage, talking about Baden, it wasn't Baden's. We're coming to you live from Pump Out is outside, and it's just a beautiful across South America. Maybe in, it does have nice weather. Championship of the world, the champ to the left of your screen, to the right of your screen, shoes, and again you see the right hand, the southpaw is to back him up. Let's see if they can do that. Very, very good boxers. And the pressure on the champ right now is it maybe just the edge the judges are looking for. Welterweight championship tomorrow night at Atlantic City. Weekend. But it's a long way to not going to give this title up without a serious behind the left ear with a nice right hand. Of the two boxes of this type of fight, the crowd isn't going professionals in the ring. His hand speed for Baden. I think Baden's had a real good first couple of rounds. They can go 12 to see a good boxing, and these guys are working hard, believe me. In the flow and try to back Baden's for about a year, and he had sparring rounds. It's not the same thing as uh, Paul Baden's been. Paul in the eighth round. What a couple of times Clem Tucker in Las Vegas and look at the ring record. He's the champion with the white shoes. See Baden now getting some. <laughs> also a nice job avoiding shots and, and because of that, the champion. And those Baden's not backing off the champion right now. And as I say that, he comes forward and tries. What Paul's going to try to do? He's going to to fight a southpaw. You back him off, back him off, and try to land that right hand right down the middle. But to counter that, you've got to get more aggressive. The way that Baden wants to fight, because this is the way Baden usually fights, and he knows that he's going to be the aggressor. And he's been trying to do it. This is the third round, and this is the best round so far for Keith Holmes. He may have hurt the challenger. He may have hurt Baden a little bit. He hit him with some good shots there. Baden, he doesn't want to sit on those ropes. He's going to slide down the ropes. He's wide open for shots. He's trying to fire, but he's not getting off. Closing seconds now for the champ. Definitely over here. It's a beautiful spot. They have a lot of concerts and whatnot here. Boxes. Former world champion. Oh, he's down. A left hand. A straight left hand dropped him. The former champ, Paul Maiden, is down, and that's the first time he's been down in his career. Holmes had a real good third round, and he's going to be in command here. If Paul stays on these ropes, he's going to get down again. He's got the slide down the ropes instead. It's the champ really putting pressure on him. The champ feels he can dump him again, and he's loading up. Boy, I'll tell you, from the middle of the third round on, it's been a different team. It was a very even horse. He's dumped him here, and he's got a hook here. Now, Baden comes forward again. He comes on the assault, comes with the uppercut. He's got to stay aggressive. And, of course, uh, Paul Baden knows he needs to be aggressive at the midway point. Look at these guys. Now, Paul was a real... Zin and Holmes got to let him off the hook. A good left hook got through by Paul that time. Paul's got to get more straight right hands down the middle if he's going to And for Paul Baden and the black trunks. Team there. Look at this. Now the champ counters him, comes off the ropes and pushes Paul back. And this is what he needs to do. He should do. Oh, down goes Paul Baden for the second time. He should be able to get up all right. So if he goes down. This is the bin on the canvas. This is the first knockdown. And you see it was just a short, crisp overhead. The barrage of punches, and, and he kind of wanted to just sit down. Yeah, I mean, once I got him where I wanted to get him, I'm going to let him go. I'm going to show him where the strip comes from. That part, that right hook. Watch this. It's not a, anything but a flash knockdown. He's not really hurt. But it was on the tail end of several punches. This must be the second knockdown we're looking at now. As he third and I got him in the fourth round. He had uh, Abel Sanchez talk to him. He asked him in between rounds. Go, all right, he sounded good. It's funny, Paul Vaden is trying to be as aggressive as he can, and this is not the way Paul the guy in. That makes a guy, every time he's get back into the ropes, he's able to execute shots and hit downs. The first one was kind of a flash knockdown. Three headshots he took. 
And then he kind of just sat down Paul, and Paul has a total look of concern. And the southpaw knows exactly how to handle this guy. A guy you'd be proud to bring to your home. The object of this sport of boxing is cruel. The object is to render the opponent unconscious for the ring. The only championship of the world. Look at this. Look at these guys. And he doesn't even, all he's got to do is have a round like he had the fifth. This is doing it. He's backing it's in spurts. 77 to 75 and a half inch reach. And the low Vaden's listed at 6-1 and Keith Holmes. Holmes appears to be a couple of inches. The way it looks in the ring, Holmes is up at his toes. Dump Vaden again. He had him in ability. This is a tough fight. Nice chance for him. So they get him over to the left. That's the champ. And Vaden keeping the pressure on him. This is Vaden's round two. Vaden having a good, good sixth round. And he needs it. Paul Vaden's face beginning to show the signs of the, that Paul can finish strong. He's going to win this round. He, when he's at his best, when he's aggressive. But Vaden has stolen the sixth round from the champion. And he, now I have the first round, six rounds. That being one quality, and that's a great heart. I don't understand the strategy that these fighters are using. World title fight. Uh, it appeared that he said, go ahead and box. Keith Holmes came forward. Decided throwing punches. He's a champion. And he seems to have the champion's timing in the uh, third and fourth round. Look from that left eye of Vaden. The view of it in between rounds. Both guys showed a little bit of ring rust, but he's fought in the spurts. And when he's fought, especially in the fourth round, with his feet down twice. A nice shot. That champion hanging in there. Likes that left uh, eyebrow. Of course, is a Holmes round venue for a boxing. Beautiful weather. Keith Holmes to the left. It used to be two points in my scorecard. Notice those front feet still getting tied up, and it's Holmes. Sometimes his left foot. The fight is he used to it because it happens all the time. He's fought about six different paws during his career. He's fighting if you get two soft paws fighting. You see the time remaining in the eighth. Much better shape for this fight than he was for the Terry Norris fight. Asians in this fight, and he's just hanging. Around. Backing off now. That's not the best way he fights. It's the way he fights often, but not again. Vaden's only loss was back in December 16th. The middleweight, I think, is the right weight. He's fought quite a few before. Jason Papiani beat 12 rounds. Uh, Will Crooner with him. He's only lost the one fight in town action. Closing seconds of the eight. And Vaden trying to finish the round strong. This is a difficult round to score. Shape for this fight, and Abel himself hasn't been a factor since, and that's because of the great control Abel was in between rounds when he was talking to his fighter, just instructing him, no panic. Now, when uh, after the sixth, standing just took those two rounds. You don't want to have a lot of grease face. You'd like to have him as dry as you possibly could. 77-7. If he's going to win, Vaden was able to back him off and did a nice job backing off. Holmes is planning. Now he chooses to go. Back. Those front feet get tied up. Vaden doing everything he can to hang in there with this guy. And he's getting beat to the front. Eight years old. Uh, that's a slip. Now then, foot was pulled from underneath him. Down went uh, the challenger, Paul Vaden. And the referee was right on top of him. Good job by Brian Guerra. Oh, look at this. He's only been down to the kick points. Look at this. Exactly what Paul needed to do. Now they're good again. And no problem with this. His eye was cut in the seventh, but Abel said, 10th round now. Don't forget, this is scheduled on a round he needed to take to keep this fight within someone. I gave him first judges will score with one knockdown, 10 8. In the United States, they were. Oh, I've seen the British agree with the referee, or they weren't. We've seen some strange things in six. That was highway robbery. Briggs get that win and the judges scorecard. That's caused havoc up in New Jersey. And of course, the last middleweight fight we did was absolute robbery when Julio Cesar Vasquez was given the title. Oh, nice shot. Another good run. Got the title lifted from me. This thing is close to from Mexico. You know, American judges like to score aggressiveness. I mean, these are all experienced judges to be sure. The W. And they have been around, and then the other guy within 45 seconds, the other guy come back. I mean, this round to me looks like Vaden. And then uh, the other factor is a lot of judges have their eyes drift towards the champion all the time. That's what they say, you know, you got to take the fight away from the champion. Well, in my opinion, Vaden certainly takes.
junior middleweight champion of the world. He's only lost one fight, never done a scorecard. I've got it so interesting. He had the right idea in staying aggressive. And i tell you, Keith Holmes, because if the judges see it the way I do, it's a lot closer than he thinks it is. And he's doing the job right now. He's having a field day teeing up. Oh, good right hand drop and five. I don't know if he's going to be on the make it. He's trying to get his legs underneath him. It's a nice. He's going to have the doctor. This is a big see if they clear. I don't think he's going to be able to get three looks at this knockdown. And as it worked out, the end of the fight. Look at these shots. Unanswered shots. Cut eye in the seventh round. How much you feel that bothered him as we look at the uh, last knockdown? It bothered him a lot because it bothered me. I was afraid for the guy losing a lot of blood. Oh.